Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manx, and today I'm going to be playing one of my favorite games of all times. Advanced Wars. I started playing this when I was a little lolly. Uh, around like, okay, maybe not lolly, I was like 12 to 13 years old when I first played this game, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And uh, Advanced Wars is actually the reason why I started playing Fire Emblem, because one of my friends said to me, Amangs, if you like Advanced Wars, you should try Fire Emblem, because it's like Advanced Wars, just with like swords and bows. But it's not, really. Uh, they're very different, but uh, the core concept of the game is the same. It's a grid-based, turn-based strategy game. So if you like Fire Emblem, but have not heard about Advanced Wars, this should be an interesting game for you to check out. Now first, I just want to apologize for my bad headset. I'm sure you can hear that my sound quality is far below what it usually is. Uh, this is the reason why I haven't created this many Let's Plays over the past few weeks. I have been releasing someone I made before, but uh, I haven't really been making any Let's Plays for a while now. And the reason behind that is that I really need to buy a new headset, and headsets are expensive. Uh, at least the ones I want to buy, the one with really good microphones. And I, you know, I have bills to pay, and, uh, you know, I work at a school, so, yeah. I don't exactly have a lot of money, but once I get my payday, I will head to the store and I will buy a new headset, and my sound quality should be up to where it used to be. So, just apologize my, you know, the bad sound. I'm really picky when it comes to this. I've been basically tinkering around with the sound settings for the last hour, trying to find something that is somewhat suitable to the air. So... The art of making Let's Plays is to find the perfect balance between music and sound. Okay. So, Advanced Wars. Uh, this Let's Play won't be too noob friendly. I'm not going to be walking you through it step by step like I did in some of my Fire Emblem Let's Plays. I'm going to be assuming that you're somewhat familiar with the series. And if you're not, uh, Advanced Wars is a game you will learn really quickly. It's really easy to pick up on. It's, it's not advanced at all, really. It's, it's pretty simple. So, um... However, I'm going to be playing the advanced campaign, and um, if you play the other fire, uh, like if you play the other fire emblem games, if you play the other advanced wars games, and you thought they were hard, and you haven't played advanced wars one, you're in for a real treat because this game is fucking hard. It is really, really fucking hard. It will kick you in the balls and rape your wife. It is that hard. I, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not kidding. It, it, I'm not sure if I can do this myself, really. Uh, it's been like five years or something since I completed the hard campaign, and I did so with a lot of blood and sweat. And by the way, Nell is so insanely hot in this game. She's the lady on the right there. She's like the she's like the red-haired Fire Emblem girl who always asks if you want to save or something. That's Nell in this game, and wow, she's smoking in this game. I, I wish they'd make her as hot in the other games, really. Anyway, so to. Like, to do an advanced campaign, I think we need to hold in select, and then press... I think so, at least. Yeah! Advanced Wars campaign! Advanced campaign. Okay. So. Um, just going to update you guys on the story very briefly, because you have to play the tutorial to know, like, what you're doing. Basically, this guy, Olaf, from uh, Blue Moon, he's uh, invading Orange Star. That's your country. And you're basically going to repel him. And Olaf is one of my favorite characters. He is extremely funny. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the narration. Orange Star Forces? Here so soon? But wait, something's not right here. Nell wouldn't leave Orange Star's capital city unguarded. Which means... Hmm, a new commanding officer? Ha ha ha, excellent. I've lost a few battles lately, but no more. An orange star army without Nell is no match for me. Time to teach this raw recruit what war's all about. And here's Andy. I'm Andy. Pleased to meet you, Manx. And yes, I'm apparently also a character in this game. Kinda like the te tactician in Fire Emblem 7. Yeah, it's actually exactly like the tactician in Fire Emblem 7. Mission 1, it's war. Day 1. Manx! Andy! Do you read me? And yeah, Nell is also kind of like our commanding officer. Nell? Is that you? Is this like a transceiver? What's that? <laughs> Andy is very stupid, by the way. That's right, Andy. I'll be using it to contact you from here on out. As this is your first real command, I want to check up on you. No worries here. This is going to be easy. Oh, Andy. You're nothing if not enthusiastic and stupid. Let me give you a few words of advice. First, let's talk about your CO power. You can use your CO power when the power meter is full. 
the meter fills up gradually over the course of the battle. Once it's full, you, well, yeah, I'll cover that when the time comes. Oh, and I also have to tell you about the Terms of Victory. The Terms of Victory explains what you need to accomplish to fulfill a mission. Do you see that intel on the map menu? Select it, and, we'll s and you'll see three new menu items. Term Status and CO. If you select Terms, I'll explain what you must do to win on that map. You should also take care to look at the other two items when you have the time. There's a lot of useful intel in there. Okay, Andy, you listen to Manx and do your best. Good luck, Manx. Take care of Andy. Oh, I will take care of Andy, alright. It's kind of funny that she explains this kind of things to you when you're playing the advanced campaign. You know, you have to unlock the normal campaign to, to play the advanced campaign. Okay, so... These are Olaf's forces, and these are my forces. Welcome to advanced campaign. Look how much more stuff he has than me. He has three fucking medium tanks, which are like the strongest land units in the game, and I have none. I just have artillery. So, a little bit intel about Olaf. So, Olaf is really strong in the snow. Uh, he has a seer power that makes it snow, and he doesn't care about the snow. His unit just moves normally, whereas my units, they move at half speed. Andy can repair stuff with his power, and he's kind of like the jack of all trades CEO. He has no real weakness, he can do everything. So, uh, what you have to do in this mission is you basically have to move here and capture Olaf's HQ. You cannot win in a straight out fight, you will lose, he has three fucking medium tanks, he will wreck you. So, what you want to do is you want to exploit the AI, and the AI is... You have to know how the AI behaves in this game in order to win on the hard campaign. Now, one of a little tip here, the AI will always attack APCs, for some strange reasons. The AI fucking loves APCs. I don't really know why, but it always attacks them if it has the opportunity to. So I'm actually going to be using my APCs as bait, and I'm going to be trying to lure his forces towards me. I'm going to be putting my mechs in the mountains, because they're really good in the mountains. Now this tank should be attacking this APC, which means I can set up my indirect combat units, the artillery, which can shoot at a distance, kind of like archers in Fire Emblem. And I should be able to take out this tank. Now, this tank will also move towards me, uh, so I'm actually going to be putting my tank here on the HQ. The HQ has a defense of 4, which means I take 40% less damage when I place my tank there. So, uh, it should be able to absorb a lot of the damage for me. Let's end the turn. Now, I could play with animations on the first mission. I suppose I could do that. So you guys can see how everything plays out. I think I might just do that. You know, as I said, I'm not going to be too noob friendly. I'm going to be explaining things very briefly, because this is the, the advanced, this is the advanced campaign. You should really learn the game through the advanced campaign. But yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be placing, uh, you know, I'm going to put animations on just briefly, so you guys can see how things works out. Okay, so, uh, he attacked my APC, like I said he would. This is one of the things the AI does frequently. And I actually misplaced this artillery, it can't fire, because as, in our, as with archers in Fire Emblem, it has a minimum range. But, I'm going to be using my artillery to kill his artillery. Now, the animations in Advanced Wars are really funny. I like how they have facial expressions whenever they win and lose. Okay, so... Hmm, I actually need to do something about this tank, because it's going to kill my APC. But first, I'm going to try to kill this tank. As you can see... On the roads you have zero defense, on the HQ you have four defense, so it's always a good battle to pick if your enemy is on the road and you can fight from a defensive posture. So Now, I can't attack with this mech, because mechs are really slow. This is actually a really bad thing, so... I think I might just have to attack this guy with this tank. And do you can see how much damage you're gonna do, 50%. You're gonna take down 50% of his battalion. He retaliates. It's always good to attack first. You always want to attack first. And normally, you don't want to attack tanks with infantry. But since the tanks are so low in health, I think I should be able to kill it. Infantry are really weak against vehicles. They're really only useful for attack, for capturing bases and killing other infantry units. But you can make some use of it if you're smart. Like, I think I should be able to kill this tank with these recons. And I am! So great! Okay, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be protecting my APC. I don't want it to die. I I think I'm already fucking this mission up pretty heavily, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't think this is how you're supposed to do this. 
But I know there's a medium tank coming for me. Okay, he's shooting at me with his artillery, but he only has like 3 hit points left, so it's really no big issue at all. But his medium tanks will wreck my guys in close combat. It will... Oh, crap. Yeah, this is kind of blunder on my part. I kind of misplaced my artillery. They can't retaliate and they can't fire into close combats. And he just did something really stupid right here. He just blocked his own medium tank with his art artillery on this bridge. So if I'm lucky, I should actually be able to kill this thing before this medium tank can even get into range. Now what I could do actually, is I could just ignore... Like, if the AI is stupid, he's just gonna keep this artillery right here, and I can just move away from it, and I can use this recon, or maybe even this just this APC, just block it. That would actually be kind of funny. Okay, so I think I'm gonna attack this artillery with my artillery. It should be enough to kill it. Yep. And Olaf is really sad. Now, this is an anti-air. They're really good against infantry and air units. So I should probably take it down with this tank. They're really weak to tanks, though. Uh, and yeah, I think I should be able to do quite a bit of damage to it. About half of its health. There we go. Now, I think I'm going to be using this mech to take down this tank because there's really no other units. I guess I could use this tank right here. Hmm, it's quite difficult, actually. Uh, I'm going to be shooting at this artillery. It might not be a good idea, but I don't trust that he will actually keep it there. I think he might move it next turn. And if he's going to do that, then my, my recon is in danger. Let's just put it that way. Um, I'm going to be placing my own artillery right here. And uh, with any luck, he moves his empty tank here so that I can shoot it. The only really chance you have against medium tanks in this game when you don't have medium tanks on your, uh, on your own, is to use your artillery against them. If you try to use tanks against medium tanks, you're gonna die. You're gonna die really hard. And it seems like I misjudged the range of my mechs, so I'm just gonna use this tank right here. Take his tank down. Boom! The key here is to not lose any of your units and use the cities. If you place units on cities, they're gonna regenerate two hit points every turn, and that is really useful. So always keep that in mind. I should also be careful about this anti-air, it's most likely going to attack my artillery, so I'm going to use my infantry to block it. And I don't really know if I care that much about him taking over these buildings, but his infantry are annoying, so I'm just going to attack them. Mech units are slightly better than infantry units when it comes to firepower. And they also have bazookas, which they can use to take down tanks. They're basically the only infantry unit that is able to deal with vehicles. So, something to keep in mind. Let's end the turn. And Olaf has his power! Let the winds of war bring snow! And this is where Olaf is really strong. As you can see, it snows, and my units are severely crippled. And yeah, as I thought, he's actually going to attack my artillery. And I wonder if he's going to move his tank. That's really the big thing I'm wondering about. And as you can see, anti-air is really strong against infantry. They do a lot of damage. And he's actually going to attack my tanks with his anti-air. That's weird. Yeah. He did win that battle, though. Olaf has some of the coolest music in the game. Okay, so if I attack this artil artillery, I should be able to bring it down to one hit point. Perfect! And as you can see... My units move really slow in the snow, about half speed, which really cripples me. And I'm going to use this artillery now to take down his medium tank. I'm not really too worried about taking some damage, and that's because Andy has a very cool power, which you will see later. Uh, I can't reach this anti-air, which is really annoying. But I'm considering shooting it down with my artillery. There we go. And I could be using my tank, I guess. Uh, this infantry is kind of damaged, so I want to pull it back so he doesn't get killed by this anti-air. Because Olaf's tropes, as you can see, he can still move as far as he usually moves in the snow. Which makes him really dangerous. And I think I'm going to be pulling my tank back, actually. I just kill this guy. I know Olaf gets sad. And I can place this tank over here to defend my infantry. 
And I think I'm gonna be pulling my mech. Okay, my mech is in the forest. Which is good. The forest gives a defense of two. And I do believe the mech should be able to survive the anti-air, even though it's on nine hit points. So I'm just gonna keep my mech here, really. And I'm gonna end my turn. And the snow only lasts for one day, though, so... It's not too big of a hassle. You it just gets a little bit difficult to move when he uses his power. Oh crap, he moved his... Fuck. He moved his artillery. Ah! As you can see, anti-air absolutely wrecks infantry, and this kind of sucks. Ugh. Ouch. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Hopefully, I'm gonna get my power now. Yes! Manx, Andy, do you copy? Nell, what is it? Your power meter is full. Andy, see your power unless you repair all damaged units, right? Do you know when it's best to use it? Um, no, I don't. Well, I guess I'll have to tell you how to use your own power, since you're an idiot. Since you're able to use... Since you're able to refer all of your units, you should use your CO power when you have damaged units. Oh, and one more thing. When you use your power, all of your units will be a little bit stronger for that turn. Don't forget what I just told you. Okay. Is that clear? Not really, but that's okay. I'll just let Manx decide, because I'm a retard. Oh well, I guess that ha that'll have to do. Manx, you're in command. Good luck. Okay. So, Hyper Repair! That's a good power. Restores two hit points to all your units. And that's actually a blessing right now, because that MD tank is pounding at our doorsteps. And to get, you know, you get that little extra firepower to deal with his units. And as you can see, artillery is really good against MD tanks. Uh, so we're gonna be uh, restoring the hit points of our recon. And again, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my APC to block. Uh, to block the empty tank. Now, I guess I haven't told this, but you can actually use APC to transport infantry units. You can put infantry units in, and you can move them around. You can also reuse them to restore fuel and ammo. The, this game does have fuel and ammo. Uh, as you can see, you have this little fuel box underneath the bullets and the arch, which, you know, the bullet is basically how many times you can fire before you run out of ammo, and the fuel is how far you can move. You usually expend one fuel per movement, so... You have to keep your units fueled, or else they are, they're gonna run out of fuel. I guess I kinda over-explained that one a little bit. Okay, so let's take down this ant here. And, uh, hmm, I kinda wanna... I kinda, I think I wanna pull this mech back, actually. Because it's kinda wounded. But I wanna deal with those two infantry units in the cities. And I think that actually... Um, you guys have seen the animations enough now, so I'm actually going to turn them off. I usually don't play with animations in Fire, uh, in Fire Emblem. I play with animations because I think they're really important. But in, in Advanced Wars, I don't. I think it's much easier to just play without. It goes a lot faster. You don't really need to see the animations to know what's going on. In Fire Emblem, I like to see the animations because... I like to see the hit and the damage and the avoid. Um, but in this game... There's really no mischance, you can't miss on your shots, you can't crit, you know, everything's basically really easy to figure out. You can always calculate how things will go in Advanced Wars, which is really cool. I like that. Okay, we'll shell this infantry a little bit more. And I actually want to capture these cities so I can use them to uh, restore my hit points. i use my tank to take down this infantry. I'm going to start to capture the city. And I guess we could repair our artillery as well. My speed is going to be terrible in this mission, by the way. You get a ranking at the end of each mission. And uh, if you want to complete this mission on the, on the highest rank, you basically have to complete it in like eight days or something. So tomorrow would be the day where I would have to defeat Olaf. And there's a strategy to do this. You have to like basically move your units perfectly in one unit and then capture his HQ with like your last remaining infantry unit. It's really tough. You have to basically read a turn-by-turn -turn guide to figure out how you're going to do that. So. Okay, so the next issue now is taking down this medium tank. Um, his rocket shouldn't be too big, uh, much of an issue because he doesn't move it. So as long as we stay without uh, outside his range of fire, we shouldn't have any issues at all. But we kind of really need to repair our, repair our units. So I'm actually going to move my artillery back here. Now, there's going to be a lot of infantry coming our way right now. 
So I'm actually thinking maybe we should actually repel them before we move further, because they're gonna try to capture our HQ. And that's not really nice, so... Hmm. If I place my artillery unit here, I should be able to attack the infantry units as they arrive. Yeah, I think we, 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 we might have to move down there to defend our HQ. There's like two mechs and two infantry units coming our way. And if you lose your HQ in this game, by the way, you, you kind of die. It's game over. It's one of the ways to win. Okay, so this infantry unit, as you can see, they're standing on roads. They get shelled really hard. Okay, so... Mm, I think I'll just end the turn right here. I, I want to repair my artillery up to full health before I move it into position. When there's no time requirements, and sometimes there are time requirements on these maps, you can basically turtle a little bit, and you kind of have to if you want to complete it. Because, uh, as I said, the hard campaign is really hard. And I think I want to shell this mech a little bit. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. That mech can deal a lot of damage to my APC. There we go. I don't know why it didn't attack my APC. It was within range, but I guess it just decided not to. The AI is a little bit weird this game sometimes. Okay. So we have the cities. Um, I'm gonna start resting my mech and my tank on these cities while I depend the attack from here. This MD tank is gonna move out when it's on full health, so I should kinda wait to move before it has moved, I guess. Lug, 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 lug spike! Okay, Olaf is really turtling hard. He's moving his units back as soon as they get damaged, which is, which is a little bit annoying. Um, I wonder if this is safe. I might lose my recon doing this, actually. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so Oh, fuck, yeah. He's gonna attack my recon with his uh, MD tank next turn. That was kind of a blunder on my part. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Ouch. Okay, the recon is dead. Okay, so that, that was a big blunder on my part. But that's what happens in the hard campaign. I guess, like, trying to not lose a single unit is a little bit unrealistic. Okay, so next turn, his MD tank is going to attack my APC, and I'm going to be able to shell it with two artillery units, and that should really kill it. Let's hope he does that. Uh, I think he actually will kill my APC. Yeah, he will. MD tanks are really tough. They do a lot of damage, so... However, he's on the road, so that means his MD tank is gone. And I think that just... Okay, he still has two fucking empty tanks left, though. Oh, God, I hate this map. It's so hard. Okay. So, I think what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to take care of this infantry. I'm going to be shelled by the rockets. But that's okay. Uh, because it's, it's not going to kill my tank. And I really want to kill his infantry, so... There's no danger of him actually capturing my, C, my HQ. Olaf uses Blizzard yet again. I'm really thirsty. I should I should drink some water. <sighs> okay. Pull back the tank. Actually, he did something really stupid here. He placed this artillery right in the range of my tank, which is not which is not a good idea. And I basically I need my I need my artillery in order to defeat this tank, so. I'm gonna have to move my artillery within range, and then I'm gonna have to bait the medium tank with my own tank. And hope that I can kill it. And Olaf is stupid, and he's just standing there with his artillery, so I'm just gonna kill it. I can also use my mech, I guess, against the medium tank, but it's kind of kind of dangerous. The mechs don't really do a lot of damage against the MD tanks. It kind of does like 20% or something. Uh, they're cost-effective, if you use enough of them, but I only have one mech, so I can't really afford to do that. Okay, so I want to place my artillery. So, his range is like so. So, I want to place my artillery... Not within range of the rockets. That's important. You don't want to do that. And he places his... Okay, he want to repair his artillery, that's why. Let's see, what's... I, I always have to check the range. It's really hard to, to me memorize where they can shoot. But this is fine. 
I can take out. I can actually take out this rocket next turn with this with this tank. That's actually interesting. Okay, time to execute strategy for killing the second empty tank, or I should actually say third. Or how many empty tanks have I killed? Only one, so I guess it's the second one. Yeah, it's the second one. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's on the turn. He's now gonna attack my tank. Oh, wow. On the planes, you get one defense, uh, which means you take 10% less damage, which is a lot better than the roads, should, where you take like full damage. Which is why my tank was able to survive that. But his tank will also survive with one hit points. So that's why I brought the mech. Bye bye, goes the medium tank. Okay, so once I'm actually done taking out these rockets, I hope that doesn't aggro the empty tank, I should be able to safely move across here and take these two cities. Maybe I can even bait out the empty tank with my with my normal tank. That would actually be kind of cool. Okay, so this is kind of where it gets hard, uh, because this rocket pretty much covers his entire, uh, his entire pathway to his HQ. But the rocket also has a minimum range, so it can't fire on units within two hexes of it. And that's kind of what I have to exploit here. But things are looking pretty good for me right now. I think I should be able to take his HQ. Oh, what? Really? Oh, <laughs> of course. I forgot that this rocket can still fire. So now you see my, my tank is kind of low on ammo. He can fire three more times before I have to resupply it. So that's kind of kind of important to remember. Okay, so how do I do that? Okay, I think I, I think I know what how I know how how how. Blah, 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 blah. How I should do it. I'm gonna place my tank here to lure this tank away, then I'm gonna move my other guys into range. Yeah! Tactics, bitch! <laughs> Day 19. Holy shit. Okay. Let's hope this works. So, this will be the bait. And this will be the assault force. Now I think I'm just gonna bring my tank. I don't really have time to wait. There we go! Amazing! And I can repair my guys! Now, I think that his CO power meter is almost full as well, so... Uh, yeah, so... Let's hope this works. Let's hope his empty tank just stays there. Just as in Fire Emblem, you have, you have like, uh, units that starts out being mobile, and units that are turtling. And this is also the case in Advanced Wars. Some units are ordered to remain stationary, while others are ordered to move. Uh, okay. Oh yes, his empty tank is just standing there. Wonderful. Okay. Perfect. Which means I should be able to kill this rocket right now. Just need to be really careful and not aggro it. Woohoo! Onward to victory! He should use his blizzard now, actually. <laughs> not that it matters. There we go. And we're ca yeah, it, it always displays an animation whenever you're capturing the HQ because it's kind of like an important build building, so. <laughs> and Olaf is just still just standing there. Well, I guess even if he did attack me with this medium tank, I would have just shelled it with, a, with artillery, so it doesn't really matter. Bloop. I I lost again? Who in the world are you? My name's Andy. I'm the CEO. This is my advisor, Manx. Advisor? We need no need need no advisor when I was in the Orange Star Army. Rumph! Be that as it may, Manx, Andy. It takes a lot to best me. I'll remember your names. Mark my word. Hey, Grandpa. Who are you? <laughs> who am I? You ask. Throughout Orange Star, I was known as... Nels Papa? That's right, Nels... What? No! That's what I get for being nice to children. No respect. Grr. You just watch yourself, little boy. I win! Well, actually, I won. <laughs> wow, that's a crappy speed rank right there. <laughs> Power and technique, I get max on, but that doesn't help. Speed is the most important rank in this game. If you can cl complete missions within a certain period of time, you will always get max rank. So! You get some coins. 
coins are used to like purchase maps and CEOs and stuff like that. And I get a rank, Ebon Han. Okay, that's cool. So this is the part where Nell asks me to save, and this is the part where we will end this part. Yes. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment in the comment section if there's anything you want to dis like want me to change. If you want me to play with animations on, I will definitely do that. In some missions I'm going to do that anyway, because you need to. Um, I will explain that in the later episodes. And uh, don't worry guys, I'm still going to do my Fire Emblem Let's Plays. I'm still going to uh, make another XCOM Let's Play. I'm just going to be doing them at the same time as I do this one. So I think I... Like, if you, if you enjoyed this, please let me know. And, uh, you know, any feedback is appreciated. So, my name is Finn Manx. As always, thanks you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.